Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Talk Kashras, presented by the Kashras Awareness Project in conjunction with Torah Anytime. Today we are honored to be joined by Rav Moshe Heinemann, Rabbinic Administrator of the Star K in Baltimore and Rav of Agudas Yisrael in Baltimore. Thank you so much to the Rav for taking valuable time to be here today. My pleasure. One final question. If we have domestic help of some sort in the house and no one is around, do we have to worry that the help went ahead and used the kalim in the house or did something to the appliances? How far does one have to be concerned? We're, we're assuming that we don't have cameras to be able to watch the daily proceedings. What, what concerns are there? Okay, so actually the Shulchan Aruch speaks about this kind of a case. If a guy is left alone in the kitchen, he knows that you're on vacation for a week and not coming back until the week afterwards. So there's no mirza, so he doesn't have to um, be afraid that maybe someone will come in, he knows they're all on their own. Um, the Shulchan Aruch says that you have to um, be suspicious that they did uh, use their kalim in a way that will make them trafe the cutlery, the plates, everything. However, since we don't know for sure that this happened, after 24 hours where everything becomes drabonon because it's because uh, of bad taste after 24 hours, then you could be makal. But that's all but the evid. But you, that means it would happen, but you should not let such a thing happen. So one thing you can do is to shut off, if it's a gas stove, shut off the gas in the basement. If it's an electric stove, it probably has its own breaker because it's a 220 line. And so therefore you go downstairs and you shut off the breaker. Uh, most of the uh, aides don't know anything about which breakers to turn, yeah. turn off. So you can, so there's no heat. Once there's no heat, the only thing you have to worry about is maybe they brought in their own food. But if you give them permission to use the food, they're your food, so you don't really have to worry about that. But if uh, you don't, so they brought their own food, um, you don't have to assume um, you, you may have to worry that maybe use hot water to wash the dishes, but you can set your hot water boiler to 120. By the time it gets into your sink, it's not going to be 120 anymore. 120 is the cutoff point of the Yatso lettuce bowl that is considered cook. And if it's less than that, it is, um, the dishes are going to be permitted. You're saying even if they clean tarfus in your sink, with hot water, but the hot water won't be hot enough if you lower the temperature. Correct. If I have a video camera, some kind of surveillance camera, and the domestic help knows that I have it, is that enough of a mirsis if I'm not going to be home for, to, you know, to obviate any concerns? If you have the camera trained on the stove or in a place where there'll be any, where they can cook anything, now over here, it doesn't make any difference if it is uh, a microwave or not a microwave. You cook something trafe in a microwave, it'll make the, uh, the container that you're cooking in trafe, even though they're not bishlakum, right. but it'll be trafe. And um, if you have a way of, uh, of knowing that it's, it wasn't happening, you put a camera on it, and the camera should show on your smartphone, if you're allowed to have a smartphone, so then uh, that's good. But they should know about it. But they, they have, have to know about it. They have Otherwise, to know it's about not a mere it. No, exactly. How do we qualify the shear of Yitzhak and Achnas? What's the shortest or longest amount of time that someone can leave their house before they come back for it to be considered Yitzhak and Achnas? Okay, so it's not necessarily an amount of time. It is more that the, the, the Akum who's in your house does, is, are they worried that you might come back at any minute? So if you're going to be, be for four hours, but you said, I'm going out for a minute, and they don't know when you're coming back, so then it's also considered Yosem and Nechnas. But if you say, I'm going on vacation for a week, so then they've got plenty of time to do whatever they want, and they know no one's around. So that's not your sense. It's not a time factor. It's, it's a factor of whether this person 
uh, who will worry that maybe the person is going to come back. Mm -hmm. And um, it may be have to do with if this person is a, uh, a baseball player, so you know he's going out to his game. Mm -hmm. So then you know it's not going to be back. Or it, it's, it's, it all depends on the Matthias. Thank you so much to the Rav for sitting with us today, answering the Shilas, and we look forward to speaking again in the future. Okay, thank you for being so nice and um, asking me all these questions. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah,